Hello there. My name's Matt. I'm a uh, nurse um, and uh, I do word working on the side. With, I have a uh, music hobby. So uh, I created this desk for myself and I'm willing to build it for anyone else who might be interested. Um, made out of solid wood. I built it around this uh, 27 inch screen. Uh, it includes a four rack unit uh, space here. Uh, of course, all this hardware would come with the desk, all, all this speakers and stuff. It's just the desk that I will build. Uh, the price would be $2,500. Uh, I would require a thousand dollar um, deposit just because of the price of materials and the time that it takes for me to build it uh, uh, not only to build it but to get the materials so if, it, if I'm to make this I need to make sure that it's a really gonna happen you know the deal won't really happen but anyway I'm willing to do it uh, I used a uh, oil based finish here um, it's called Rubio Monocoat. It's a cherry coral finish and it's on a type of hardwood called Sapile, which is a cousin of, um, of uh, mahogany. So um, we have a couple of uh, rack unit boxes here. This first one has four. I can, for me, I made a, a uh, turntable um, space, which if you'd rather have more rack unit spaces, that can be done easily. Um, these speakers are set at a height, you know, just speakers come right to your ears. One of the reasons why I built this is because my old one, I needed workspace. Uh, I didn't want the keyboard sitting right on the desk. I wanted the monitor d directly at eye level rather than, you know, raised up high where I have to look up to it. It was straining my neck, so I decided to build this. If you're interested, then I can build it, build this for you as well. One of the main things I did, this is a walking uh, uh, MIDI controller drawer, keyboard drawer. Uh, if you flip this lever here, you can unlock it and pull it out. Which I left a bunch of stuff here, but this will fit an 88 key, keyboard. Um, the keyboard that I um, built it around is an Arturia uh, uh, Keylab 88 MK2 uh, keyboard, so it'll fit that. And this is one of those keyboards that's on a larger size, so it should have plenty of space. This table is about one and a half inches thick, maybe one and a quarter. Uh, I put a a uh, slight bevel on it for looks. This keyboard tray also locks in position, so you can. And it's I've used um, some Accuride uh, slides here that have a. I think it's about a hundred pound weight limit, so they you know are very strong. Uh, if you flip these levers here, you can push it back in and it locks in place so it won't, won't move. Uh, so there, these legs are steel, powder coated steel.
the rack units themselves are not attached. They're movable. You can, you know, move it to whatever position you, you like. I personally like them kind of angled in a little bit. Uh, one of the reasons why I did a oil finish is that if it ever got scratched, it's not unlike polyurethane, it's it's easy to to you know fix. You just sand it and re put the finish back on it. Uh, it's built very solidly. Um, the boxes I use, you know, dowels, joinery, so these are very strong boxes. Uh, there is a candle management system underneath. So uh, things are well hid in here, made out of solid wood. I've attached these cables coming from my uh, amp here and uh, used a tie to tie them up. But underneath, you know, the cables are well managed. <laughs> and you can see there's a lot to manage. Uh, this table can be taken apart. Uh, moved fairly easily. This cable management box can be removed if need be. It slides out. Uh, if you ever needed to, you know, take this table apart for any reason, it wouldn't be too hard. I flush mounted all the all of the hardware here. Everything is very tight. I've used, um, it's hard to see, but there's a, uh, all of the hardware is flush mounted and it's all uh, thick gauge uh, steel brackets. The legs are bolted to the table. There are other wood options like this. You can go with, you know, natural wood. You can use I use the pile, you could use cherry or, you know, whatever you want. Uh, if the wood is a more expensive type of wood, of course, we'll, we'll have to, you know, negotiate the price a tad. Here's an example of another table I have for sale. This is uh, also a pile, and that's the natural, what the natural color would be. If you prefer not to have a beveled, edge on the bottom I can do you know just a rounded edge there like this uh, you know customization options are are you know will be considered but I found this to be a very functional desk for myself I really really like it so I think you will too um, if you have any questions, uh, please send them to me. I'll put a link in the description, the typical description, wherever it is, and y'all guys can, uh, message me. I'll be, I've got it for sale on eBay and also on Facebook Marketplace. So thank you for your time.